Good morning. Today we're here at Ollie's Bargains and Buyouts. We're going to check out some of the grocery prices, uh, some of the different shelf stable items, things that a lot of you have been asking about. We're going to go in here and see if we can find some decent deals uh, with prices going up pretty much everywhere. We're going to see if we can find some bargains. Let's get to it. As soon as I come into Ollie's here, just wanted to show they got the Ripafrata coffee here, 80 uh, Keurig pods for $21.99. This is the morning blend. Someone was asking about this in an old video uh, where we went shopping here. Also, they have the donut shop blend. What's after? I've tried it. It's okay. Uh, $21.99 $21 for this as well. And this is also 80 pods. So good price. Okay, coffee. These are $3.99, but I'm not a big fan of the Indulgio coffees here. Uh, I know they're cheap. But I don't know, just just not a big fan of it. I did try the, Ita or yeah, Italian roast here. The ja this is the Java Gold. This is okay. I'll tell you what, they just have mountains and mountains of coffee. Um, got the Aspen Ridge coffee. This is the one that I wasn't a big fan of. Uh, the Ripafrata. I had tried it again. I didn't used to be a fan of that. The donut shop blend is okay. I know I had said that I didn't care for it, but I had yet to try the donut shop blend. Dark roast of the Aspen Ridge, I tried, not a big fan. Uh, and the coffee house, well, it's okay. How much is this here? $19.99 for 80 pods. This is the dark roast here. Ollie's is kind of like big lots when it comes to like peanuts and cashews and different peanut mixes stuff like that the superior nut company is pretty good these are $7.99 that is up from $5.99 uh, the last time I saw them and a couple things I've seen here are up a little bit in price Ripper Friday used to be $19.99 now it's $21.99 I don't know if I would pay that I think I got some iced oatmeal cookies here. These are the soft ones, uh, $3.49 for these. I don't feel like that's too bad of a price. And these ones are the hard ones, same price. It says 12 ounces though. Saw these here, Sugar River Extra Hot Meat Stick Ends and Pieces. Huh, never seen one of these where you didn't have to refrigerate it. These are $4.99. Well, you do get a lot for $4.99 there. Got some of the Twinings teas here, the the heart tea, different immune support teas here, straight from London. Uh, it's good tea. I think Jessica likes this one here. Um, let's see, they got this Amora here, different uh, cinnamon spice ground coffee. I haven't seen this here before. Two ninety nine for that. Oh, they only have one kind here, but I found this Amy Soups here. This is carrot ginger. Yeah, I don't know if anybody ever buys that. Let me know if you've tried the carrot ginger Amy Soup before. If it's any good, $1.99. That's the best price I've seen on any Amy Soup in years. Got the Bruce's Yams here, $1.29 a can for that. I remember somebody asking about these Lord Chesterfield tomatoes a long time ago. Uh, it's the first time I've ever seen them. Uh, $0.89 cents a can for that. I uh, got some different different random things here. Uh oh, let's see this turkey gravy here, 79 cents for that. Yeah, I don't know, some okay deals I guess. Got some minced garlic here, biggest jar of minced garlic I've ever seen, four dollars and 79 cents for that. Annie's vegetable soup here, dollar 59 a can. What do we got up here? I'm finding all kinds of new things here I've never seen. Red Gold Tomato Love, Mild Diced Tomatoes and Green Chilies, 99 cents for that. I'll tell you what, if you've never been to Ollie's, it is definitely worth coming in and having a look. Uh, they got a lot of different things, a lot of random things all the time. Things come and go, um, but there's always some interesting things. Harvest Snaps here, 279, huh? I feel like those are the same price everywhere. I got some different pretzels here. Look at these. Little braided pretzels here. $1.19. Got some scalloped potatoes here. Loretta. Loretta brand. $1.39 for that. We've got Betty Crocker here, which has been open, so I wouldn't buy it, but it's 99 cents. Got some Loretta Al Gratin potatoes too for $1.39. Found some Betty Crocker Julianne potatoes here 99 cents but here they got stovetop these are kind of roughed up they got some good looking ones in the back though uh $1.99 for a twin pack 
Uh, these are like $2.39 everywhere right now for one box. So to get two of them for $2, that ain't bad. I know a couple longtime viewers on our channel who would like to see this. If you have an Ollie's near you, they're selling these Hormel Completes meals. $1.99. Usually $2.89 to $2.99 anywhere. We found, can find them a little cheaper. We saw them at Family Dollar for $2.70. But $1.99 here. And they have these Tasty Bite uh, different rices here. The last time they had the Sticky Rice. I don't see that one here now, but they've got this tandoori rice, uh, $1.29 for that. So when you come to Ollie's, just be ready to like look through mountains of different things. It's kind of like a huge garage sale <laughs> of different foods and items. <laughs> Found this too big thing of organic ketchup, 44 ounces, two of them for $5.99 by Heinz. This is the, the organic, they don't even have the, oh yeah, they got the regular Heinz. Was this a 20 ounce? 20 ounces for $1.79? Well, that's, you know, it's an okay price, all considering. Here's something that's hard to find. I know we have a lot of uh, people, a lot of viewers on the channel that need gluten-free products. They got the Maple Grove Farms Gluten-Free Pancake and Waffle Mix. $1.99 for that. These pie fillings aren't the cheapest, probably, but they're right on par with everywhere else. But they are Muscle Mints, and we get a lot of great comments on Muscle Mints. I've had the apple before and the blackberry, or blueberry, I mean. Uh, $2.99 for this, but guys, this is some of the best pie filling I've ever had. No big containers of salt. They do have a thing of sea salt here. But no like cheap salt or anything they do have a lot of spices As a matter of fact ollie's is known for their spices they use the spice supreme uh brand and i'll tell you what you get a lot for your money here dollar 49 for this cayenne pepper you get a ton in there that's nice and they have different uh all different kinds of seasoning whole oregano down here i believe this dollar 49 too yes it is um yeah it's not too bad got some chili powder here $1.49 for that, so some good deals, and you definitely get your money's worth uh, on the spices. And I've never had any complaints on any of the different spices from Ollie's. Now the Kalana is a little more, $1.69 for these, but this is good too, and you get a ton. So I gotta say, this is about the most crowded I've ever seen Ollie's, and there are a ton of people actually buying a lot of the foods here. I don't normally see that. Normally, people are in here just buying other things. But I'm not surprised to see a lot of people here shopping, trying to find some of the best deals because, guys, grocery prices have just gotten ridiculous. Here's something interesting. They have McCormick's Grill Mates chips, roasted garlic and herb. $2.49 for that. These are made by Hers brand. So, I don't know, $2.49... Usually hers brand is a lot cheaper, but I don't know. It's been a while since I've been to Ollie's, so I don't know. It looks good. Somebody asked about the Stubbs hers chips one time. I haven't tried the, like, crinkle chips here, but I did try, like, these Cheetos. And, guys, I'm telling you what, these are amazing. These are really good. $2.49 for those also. I'm trying to stay away from these kind of things for now, but I'll tell you what. Those are delicious. I remember somebody was looking for some puppy pads. I just found these here, 30 pads for $5.99. Not sure whether that's a great deal or not. Uh, they do have this other one here. It looks like it's been ripped open. This one is $8.99. This is 20 pads for bigger dogs. Then they have 15 pads here for $7.99. This is uh, for large breed dogs. This is extra large pads here on this one. They do have some dog food here. We went over this last time, the Paula Deen. Uh, somebody on the channel actually uses the Paula Deen uh, brand dog food here. I don't know where else you can get it other than Ollie's. Uh, I'm not really sure, but they do have a lot of different uh, canned dog food. Some of them are pretty pricey. That's $2.59 for Free Spirit. This is grain free recipe though. Then they have this beef formula here in a smaller can. These are $1.39 a can, so definitely not the cheapest, but they've got all kinds of different like dog bones and stuff. I mean, you know, it's it's like a it's like a giant, I don't know, it's very similar to Big Lots in a way, but I feel like a lot of this stuff is just kind of thrown in here. Uh, and they can get away with that because they literally put a uh, sticker price on everything. 
there's a lot of air conditioners here uh, if you're looking for an air conditioner some of these depending on the size this one's 180 6,000 BTUs I saw some down here for a hundred uh, here's one for 99.99 little window air conditioner and they just have air conditioners for days Wow they must sell a lot of these uh, let's see this tells you how much you'll save annually $44 I guess that depends on how much you use it we've gone over this before but I like to point this out these are Scott's lawn tools got a shovel here for $14.99 then they have this shovel here, same price. Got different gloves, garden gloves, $2.99 for those. Got some floral shears here, $3.99. Miracle Grow brands. You know, some some name brands here for some okay prices. They got a, like a garden rake here. Let's see, that is $14.99. I feel like that's the magic number, $14.99. They got some cheaper ones here, the plastic rakes. I don't know if they're cheaper, but. $9.99 so you save five dollars on that compared to a metal one uh let's see got some different uh head shears here these are $14.99 for that that's miracle grow brand and they got some really big ones right here $14.99 for those well here you get the hedge trimmers and the pruning trimmers here $19.99 for both of them that is the biggest can of off i've ever seen in my life this is huge. Look at that. Was this a... Okay, no, it's three cans. Is it a three-pack? No way. Maybe it is. It is a three-pack for $20. Three-pack. Okay. I saw that at first. I was like, $20? That sounds a bit much for one of them. But you get three of these. Three of these giant cans here for $19.99. I don't feel like that's a bad deal at all. Got some different hoses here. I saw this thing on a commercial the other day. This aqua joe where it kind of folds up and i don't know how much that is though let's see 24.99 i think that's what they were selling it for of course if you spend an extra ten dollars you got two of them or something but if you don't want to do something like that and pay for shipping oh of course they always give you free shipping but if you have an ollie's check it out i have a buddy that has one of these he loves it somebody was asking about creel mustard the other day well i found some here at ollie's it is 99 cents and it is zataran brand a New Orleans tradition. Now oh, check this out. Found these Kellogg's Grams. These are $1.99. Ram crackers are like $5 at Kroger now. So I don't know. It says they're made by Kellogg's. $1.99. That's a good deal. Probably the same thing. I have tried this Pampa Worcestershire sauce before. It is just fine. Uh, somebody said they didn't like it. I tried it. I thought it was okay. $1.19 for that not too huge savings there but they got craft roasted garlic vinaigrette for $1.79 and this balsamic vinegar here uh, let's see $1.99 for that never tried this one but it's a pretty big container of it there for $1.99 so I'll tell you I really like Meyer brand bread and butter pickles but these are really good uh, too here I've had these before it's the Gedney State Fair pickles bread and butter pickles and these are $1.79 look at that that is a huge jar for less than two dollars. So I found a squeeze bottle of great gray poupon Dijon mustard here, dollar twenty-nine. I feel like that's too bad of a deal. And they have the stone ground mustard right here, dollar nineteen. Huh. I don't know. Some interesting finds here at Ollie's today. They have all these kind breakfast bars here for a dollar ninety-nine. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, these are like $4 or more in most stores. Now, these are the smaller ones, not the big, like, uh, chocolate bars that are like six, seven, eight dollars $8 a box. I found some of these little mini packs of the minute rice here. We see for right around $2 or more in some stores now. 99 cents here. They only have the multigrain. I mean, you really do got to search around here. Like, you'll, you'll be looking around for a while. But they also have this Mahatma Chipotle Jasmine Rice. 99 cents. Huh. That's pretty cool. Got some more of them up here. Oh, they got the Southwest Pinto Beans here. 99 cents for that. Suddenly, Deli Salad Starter Kit. 59 cents. 59 cents for that. It's a neat place, guys. I love, I love Ollie's. $1.49. This is gluten-free, right? Or gluten-free spaghetti, though. 
Uh, I don't know the size, 14 ounces, so a little less than a pound, but it is gluten-free. Pretty cheap for gluten-free. Well, that was our trip to Ollie's Bargain and Buyout. Sorry, that is all the time I had for today. Very crowded in there. It was very hard to get around. Uh, there were people, like, searching different prices. There were, I mean, they were, they, it's like they've been listening to everybody. I mean, it's... I, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad that people aren't wasting their money. They're looking at every little item, making sure that they're going to save between here and like Kroger or something. Didn't find any salt or flour, any of that stuff. Uh, it's rare, I think, that Ollie sells those kind of things, uh, unless it's like in the little tiny salt shakers or small containers of it. But um, always fun coming to Ollie's. Uh, didn't get to check everything I wanted to today, but you know. It's fun. It's like a, uh, I like to look at it as like treasure hunting. I know I say that every time I come to Ollie's, but that's pretty much what it is. Things are stacked sky high. You're going to prepare to spend a couple hours here. You will find some great deals, but at the same time, if, so if you're coming in here for searching for specific items, you might get a little bit of a headache unless it's like coffee or some of the specific coffees that we showed today, uh, because it is kind of scattered about things are thrown on the shelves, but for the most part, they do have stickers on every item. So you know what the price is gonna be because it's on the item. That's what I like about here. And, and that's why I compare this to Big Lots a lot because Big Lots does that too. They, they put stickers on everything. I like that though, because you know what the price is and if there's any question about it, or if it scans wrong, the sticker's on the item. So, you know, I've had that happen at Big Lots where they've scanned something. I'm like, well, the sticker says this price and then they give it to me for that. So anyway, good trip to Ollie's. Thank you all so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out.